Well, hello, Leo, beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your daily chakra energy reading and I don't know, this is your weekly chakra energy reading or just your weekly energy check-in, Leo, my gosh. <laughs> And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. All of these readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So use your intuition, Leo, to tune into what that message is for you. So Leo, we are have the same format here. We are doing one tarot card for your week. Three oracle cards representing past, present, and future, and an affirmation for each of the oracle energies. So, let's get your tarot for the week. I have shuffled and cut all of the decks. So, let's get into your reading, Leo. So, all right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. Leo, what is your tarot card for the week? What is your tarot card? Oops, oh, okay. Well, oh, there you go. Oh, let's stick with this one. I feel like that's the one that's meant. And we all saw what it is, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. <laughs> so okay. Now what is your recent past energy, Leo? Recent past energy for Leo. There we go. Present energy for Leo. Present energy for Leo. Okay. There you go. And future energy, Leo. Future energy for Leo. And I know, like, the, um, okay, okay, well, we're gonna redo that. The light keeps adjusting because I'm kind of, like, sitting in front of the window, but the, like, it's kind of, like, a off and on kind of cloudy day, and, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, I can't, I cannot tell Gaia what to do with the clouds okay <laughs> so so I'm simply I like using the natural light versus like artificial light so yeah all right anyways Leo your affirmation for your past energy affirmation for the past for Leo past affirmation for Leo Wow, Leo. Past affirmation for Leo. Usually these pop right on out, Leo. So I don't know. It feels like either what you have to say is at the bottom of the deck or <laughs> there's not much that you want to say. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's your past. All right. Present affirmation for Leo. Present affirmation. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, it was that one. And future affirmation for Leo. There it goes. Went shooting out. So grab it. Okay. All righty. Okay, Leo, your tarot card for the week is the nine of discs, the nine of discs. And this is a energy of abundance. This is the energy of single. This is the energy of standing in your power confidently. This is the energy of like, I am about my business. And then what? Like, this is you, Leo, like just standing in your power, in your best, your best self, your best version, and not 
being unbothered, not worrying about what anyone else has to say about it. So I love that. Let's get into your past, your recent past energy. Oh, look, you have another nine. So you have two nines here and nines, you know, have to deal with like being at the end of a cycle before a new one begins. So the nine goes up to the 10, but the 10 is really just a one. So that is the starting of something new. So nine, the roses kiss, the roses kiss. And this has to do with, this is the energy of stepping into like, are the physicality of life like being aware of the things around you being you know tuning in deeper to taste touch smell <laughs> all of those things everything that makes us human and like our five senses and so the roses kiss I feel that within your recent past energy you have just been kind of tuning in more to what you want, what makes you happy, what makes you feel good, what what is meant for you in this life, like what puts you in this nine of discs energy, you know, and this is something that you are experiencing with in the outside world, so something that around you that you've just decided, okay, I need to figure out what makes me happy and what you know, makes me feel good and makes me feel the best and dive into it. And so this is beautiful energy for your recent past. And it says <laughs> your affirmations from the secondary chakra's knees. Number 118, because of my curiosity, I learn easily and quickly. Because of my curiosity, I learn easily and quickly. So as you've been diving into this world and what, you know, makes you happy, you have found yourself, you know, learning about the things that make you curious, the things that make you happy, the things that put you into your energy of happiness, bliss, joy. You have allowed yourself to learn more about that, learn more and or to become curious about it. And in that curiosity, you have learned more and you have learned faster than usual because it is something that you sought out yourself. And whenever we do that, whenever we are curious about um, learning new things or finding out information, we tend to be more open to the information and so it stays. Um, it stays better than information that we are forced to <laughs> to learn or know about. So that's beautiful energy in your recent past, Leo. Your present energy, you are presently in the energy of close encounters. Close encounters. So this is number 10. So you have 9 and 10 here. So that is a movement forward that is stepping forward that is making progress and that's beautiful so close encounters we are actually we're going to read what the book has to say about this but i'm feeling that in this energy of close encounters you are finding yourself uh, tuning in to more Um, um, like getting closer to people or being more open to, you know, those that are around you. So let's read what the book has to say. So number 10, Close Encounters, Key Concepts, Vulnerability as a Strength, Letting Others See Your Wounds as Well as Your Strengths and setting healthy boundaries. So this is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of any social masks or constructs you use to keep yourself apart from others. 
lower your shields, and allow yourself to step into a dance of intimacy. When you become close to people, you remind yourself that you are not alone. You're part of a beautiful, meaningful bond. At a deep spiritual level, there are so many lessons offered to you in this closeness. At a social level, intimate relationships help you ignite the spark of life that is the power of affinity. You flourish as a result of offering emotional honesty, a true desire for equality, love, friendship, and laughter. We aren't meant to be alone, yet sometimes we are wounded and we build walls around ourselves so we don't get hurt again. It's time to be honest about yours and step from behind that barrier and engage in all of life. This is a beautiful opportunity to allow your vulnerability to be your strength as you choose to live in integrity and without artifice. Even in your work life, this mode of connection allows you to be truly present. When you live this way, everything and everyone thrives. You have no need to defend yourself when you're being truly and utterly you, empowered by your raw openness and willingness to be seen. In this way, your close encounters will not fail you. There is much to celebrate when you stand eye to eye, shoulder to shoulder, sharing your heart. Yeah, so that's the energy that I was feeling, that you are allowing yourself at this time to become closer to people. You're allowing yourself to let your guard down and finding that in order for others to open up and accept you you also have to open up and accept yourself and through the desire or you know the want to become op or to open up and trust others you have started to do this with yourself as well so instead of holding yourself in your own the cage of your own making you are slowly allowing yourself to step outside of what that which you have built for yourself what barriers and what boundaries you have set for yourself that are not to your own benefit so that's beautiful energy for you leo and your affirmation you actually have a secondary chakra's elbows and it's the blank card and the secondary chakra's elbows. Let me show you what that usually is about. So the elbows, these chakras regulate the intensity of relationships, such as accepting things and setting boundaries. So that's the elbow chakras. So basically a double confirmation. So like there's no affirmation for this, but this is just coming to say that this is what you're working on you're working on your outside relationships and building what you know building healthy boundaries and breaking down the unhealthy barriers that you set up for yourself so this is your present energy and this is beautiful like seriously two different decks that literally say the same like it's the exact same thing i uh I, yeah, like you can't make this stuff up and it's so amazing to me every single time. I love it. All right. In your future energy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So the funny thing is that when I was shuffling and do you remember how the cards had almost come out and like two of them had flipped. This was one of the ones that had flipped over that I had put back and then it came out or I ended up pulling it, whatever. But so in your future energy, the call of the muse, and this is you stepping into your calling, you stepping into your beautiful, flowy, lovely self. So you hearing the call of your heart, of your soul, and you stepping fully and beautifully into the energy um, that is meant for you. You stepping into that version of yourself that is amazing. And like, don't both of these kind of have like the same energy? Like she's just kind of like, la da da, like look at me, I'm so beautiful and I'm just like in my little ballerina life. And then she's like, yep, 
look at me I got this butterfly on my finger and I'm just chilling in this field of flowers <laughs> like yeah that is this is what you are stepping into is this energy like you are feeling the call of your soul and you are allowing yourself to be guided and in whatever way that is for every single Leo it's different but it's the it's the call of your soul the call of what makes you float what makes you so happy and what makes you blissful and light and free this is you stepping into that energy and loving like just growing like stepping into a new part of your own growth and that's amazing your affirmation is from the secondary chakra yin energy i make friends with my inner beloved i make friends with my inner beloved so this is you falling in love with you this is you stepping into the energy of this is me i love to do this i accept myself for doing for loving this and i am beautiful and perfect just as i am so making friends with your inner beloved the inner true love of yourself ah that's such amazing energy and it's so beautiful it's so beautiful as you are feeling this call to follow your soul you are by allowing yourself to follow your soul's desire you are accepting and allowing yourself to be the love that you are if that makes sense like it's just you are yeah you're stepping into like just this beauty that is you and loving yourself and being in the energy of yes this is me unbothered and just in love with everything that makes you you and that is beautiful energy for you leo so this has been your weekly energy check-in, Leo. Ah, thank you for letting me do this reading for you. I love it. So if you found something that you resonate with in this message, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And, you know, to receive your messages on a weekly basis. So... Thank you so very much for being here, Leo. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.